Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up the shooter controller. First, let's create a new scene and add a plane so we can walk around. Now, go to the Invector, Shooter, Create Shooter Controller. Let's find our new VBOT Black Edition. Select the Animator Controller, in this case we will use the Shooter Only for this example and the Shooter Only for the camera too. Hit Create. All the necessary components will be automatically attached to your character, such as the Shooter Melee Input, Shooter Manager, the Ammo Manager and the Head Track, so we can aim up or down. It's always better to add first the regular component than the other components. So let's do that now by going to Invector, Basic Locomotion, Components, Ragdoll. You can see that the automatically generated colliders are a little chubby for our model. So you can resize them to fit better into your character. But I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, let's focus on set up the shooter first. Let's add a lighting manager so we can pick up weapons and equip them. Go to the Vector Inventory Item Manager. Let's find the inventory prefab by going into the Project Folder Item Manager Prefabs Inventory Shooter. This is only an example of a shooter only inventory. You can make a copy of this and customize to your own needs. Now select a item list data. A item list data is where you store all the information about your items. In this case, we need the shooter melee item list data. We add an option of filter so you can find specific items faster. So let's use the filter to shooter and ammo only. Add a weapon so we can test your controller. Hit play and equip your weapon. You can see that the weapon is not aligned properly, so let's align to your character's hand. Go to the player inspector and find the, shoot the shooter manager. Press the button lock camera and lock aiming, so it's easier to work with the transformers. Now you will see that our character is aiming down for some reason. That's because we have an active IK working on the right upper arm. Let's fix this by aligning the default equip point of your character and not the weapon itself. Select the default equip point and rotate until you get the correct position. Now move the transform to fit into your character's hand. Copy the transform component of your default equip point and paste into the game object after exiting play mode. Cool! Now that we align the default equip point, all the weapons should be aligned since they all use the same equip point. Alright, this is a scene of another tutorial that I'm going to do for you guys, showing the process to create this scene using these characters, replacing animations, customizing the inventory and more. But what I want to show you right now is how easy and fast it is to align all of your weapons into a new character. Our assets are all about saving time so you can focus on what really matters to your game. Since each model has a different rig, size and bonus orientation, we created a faster solution to align all of your weapons and their AK points to each character without the need of manually aligning every single weapon. You can see that all our weapons are aligned to work with the VBOT, but my custom character is all messed up. Let's align the default key point first. I just aligned the default key point of our new character, but the left IK is all messed up. So let's create an offset to fix that. Go to the shooter manager and change the values until you get the desired alignment. Cool, we can see that not only the pistol, but all of your weapons are now correctly aligned with the default key point and the left IK. We do have examples for different types of shooters in this project, like the shooter melee, where you can equip both shooter weapons and melee weapons into your character, or the shooter without inventory, so you can pick up one apple at a time by just pressing a button. Play around with the demo scenes and find out what kind of shooter you want to develop. This was just a pretty basic tutorial to cover up how to start your shooter controller. More tutorials will come covering with detail how to set up weapons, scope view, collectibles and more. See you next time!